Hey guys, what's up? It's Snake here, and uh, Professor G and myself decided to call in the big guns for this episode. So, joining us today, we got Died 4 and Silver Bullet. And the four of us got together and started talking, and we came up with a great idea. What if we showed you our round 1 through 9 multiplayer strategy? And this strategy works for any number of players, except for one. It's not a great solo strategy, because Juggernaut is just that much more important. Uh, but for this, two, three, or four players works great. What you're going to want to do is stay in here uh, at least until round four, because by then, hopefully, all of you should have 4,000 points, uh, one with 4,250. And uh, the best way to get points, obviously, is shoot them eight times in the leg and then knife them for round one. And then after that, you can shoot them eight times in the chest, 12 times, even 14 times up to, up to round four. Uh, that is, of course, if you keep getting max ammo. So we always like to let a couple of them out the windows uh, just to see if they, they do drop something. If you do get pressed for ammo, um, the M14 works great too. And a, a big shout out to Syndicate because it's his strategy, shooting him eight times in the leg. And uh, also with the M14, if you shoot him one time less than whichever round it's in and then knife him, that's how you get the most points. So as you see here, we're just we're just building up points and I'm lining up as many zombies as I can. I actually like this window the best because it's the easiest way to get uh, a good shot. You can even shoot up to four or five zombies if you time it just right and just rape on points. Uh, so yeah, so you, you want to board up all the windows and try and get a crawler by the end of round four. Um, and then you're going to, facing the pack-a-punch machine, exit the spawn, spawn left. Uh, always spawn left. It doesn't matter which side the box is on because in this strategy you're going to ignore the box and you're going to ignore Juggernaut. So you exit left and you come through the, the mud swamp or, or quicksand or whatever it is and run down off this cliff or over the bridge and get to the monkey area. Now this is where we're going to camp once we go through here and turn on the power. Uh, whoever has the least amount of money should always get the first door at 750 and the two middle doors are going to be a thousand and whoever has the most points is going to get the last door which is 1250 lets you into the power room turns on you you got to turn on all the power and then buy the bowie knife that's right the bowie knife is going to be your best friend at this level and it's perfect to help you get tons and tons of points early on without having to hit the box to try and get weapons uh, i always find that when you hit the box on earlier rounds and you end up with something like the ray gun as great as the ray gun is it handicaps you because you're unable to get as many points as you could with with anything else and with the amount of max ammo drops that you get in this round it actually works out perfect not even to hit the box because you'll just keep getting more and more points for your pistol and that's just 10 points for every bullet you got there uh, and the bowie knife makes sure that, that there's no way for anybody to go down now once you got set up there's four entrances here you got the two back windows the cliff side and the the bridge so if you have four players, that's great. You have four places for them to be. But even if you have two, one person, all the way up to until round nine with the Bowie knife, can guard the bridge and the back window, or the cliff and the side window, uh, and, and really have no problem at all. So this is a, a really great strategy, like I said, for any amount of people, as long as, as, long as it's just not one, because there's, there's not really any good place for one person to stand, even... even in the early rounds before round 10 you gotta start moving pretty early so like I said as soon as you get max ammo you wanna start shooting them again eight into their chest and, and knifing them and, and just trying to get as many points as you can and as you have enough points go ahead and get juggernaut and the way perks work in this in this map is they're all randomized but jug and speedy Cola are always gonna be in one of the first two areas that you open and Jug we were lucky enough to have right there uh, so we could, as you saw, I could just jump in and get it in the middle of the round but sometimes it's on the other side and then all the other perks are, are, are underneath randomly except for Quick Revive which is always at the spawn uh, and at round 9 you're gonna want to go ahead and get uh, get a crawler come, to, come back down to the power room by the claymores and go ahead and spend some more money, go ahead and open up all the rest of the doors, that way you open up all the escape routes you can possibly have, and that way in case anything gets hairy or whatever you always have some place to go. Go ahead and hit the box now and uh, also get any perks you want to get, um, you know, however much money you have. You always want to keep a little bit of money just in case you need to get Juggernaut again. 
but I would suggest for this level uh, Speedy Cola, PhD, and Quick Revive instead of Stamina Up because it's really important to be able to pick up your fallen comrades as quick as you can. Another thing I like to do is place all my claymores out at the very beginning of a round. That way if we get max ammos during the round, I get two extra claymores. And you never know when they're really going to come in handy. Uh, the fire guys are great too for blocking off areas like the bridge or right here where the, the cliff is. And that way some zombie, uh, a group of zombies will just die because they're too stupid to run around the fire. Um, now here's an important thing. Dimsey is the white indicator, just like Sarah Michelle Geller and JFK. Zombies love the white indicator. They're drawn to it like, I don't know, like flies to honey. So just keep that in mind, wherever Dimsey is standing, you don't want him guarding an area with another person where the area is big enough for two people because all the zombies will be pulled to one side and it can really mess you up. So just make sure that Dimsey is at a choke point, like the bridge for instance. Uh, another good thing to do is whenever you have drops uh, and you don't want them, let the monkeys change them. Uh, and either way, monkeys are always going to give you lots of points, like 250 or 300 just to kill one of them. So keep that in mind. And that wraps it up. So I hope this has been helpful, and I'll see you next time.